Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Christine Mayama. As the nurses' strike continues into the third week now, more patients continue to suffer due to lack of medical services in most public hospitals. A four-month-old baby boy in Molo risks losing his legs due to an undressed burn that he suffered a few weeks ago. In Kuresei North, Moto Village, Teresia Wangari has abandoned her normal duties to take care of her four-month-old son around the clock. The baby sustained burn injuries that led to the loss of his feet. His wounds rot and ate through the ankle joints. This was after they were discharged from the Nakuru Level 5 hospital following the nice strike. And since June 8th, the wounds have not been taken care of. Ikawa ndugu yake aliachwa na mama yake uh, pale nyumba na mama yake akakimbia pale sokoni kutafuta chakura cha jioni. Na kwa bahati mbaya yule ndugu yake alianza kuchukua kiberiti na kuasha uh, matris ya ambao walikuwa nalalia mahala ambapo mtoto mchanga alikuwa ameachwa amelala tulikaa mwezi moja na nusu tukaandikiwa barua tukaambiwa tutafute matibabu ya haraka sababu mtoto wako ako serious alianza kuanguza viungo vya mwili miguu huko nyayo zake zilianguka tu kujianguza senyewe ukiangalia huyu mtoto kusema kweli hana nyayo ni mguu tu peke yake the boy requires immediate surgery to save the remaining parts of his limbs wangari and her husband are casual laborers who now rely on donations from their neighbors to at least get drugs for the young one about 200 households in Kinyanjui area in Dagoreti have been left homeless after a fire raised their homes on Monday night. Residents of Kinyanjui area in Dagoreti, Nairobi, watching helplessly as fire burned down their houses. More than 200 families were left homeless. They are counting huge losses after fire gutted down their belongings. Kila kitu imeisha, hakuna mwenye ameokoa tangu ya kuvalia. Ile kitu tu tunaomba ni usaidizi tu kidogo. At least mtu aweze kuanza maisha tu. Maisha jusa hizi mtu ataizipata pesa za kurent. Hata fea kwenda ushagwe nyewe mtu aizipata. Sirikale, ituangalia ni shida ni nini kwa kawangwale ju. Ukiangalia uh, kuanzia mwezi wa sita last year, paka wa sahi, manyumba zimechomeka zaidi ya tano ama kumi. According to the residents, nothing was salvaged in the inferno that is reported to have started at around 9 p.m., spreading to surrounding houses. They say they had a loud explosion in one of the houses before the fire started. Ushauri wangu tu kwa ma landlord wetu wanapo chenga nyumba tafadhali wakaweza kupeana nafasi. Wakati wa emergency kama hii, at least tupate vile tunapitisha fitu zetu na vile tunawakoa fitu zetu. Tasama sasa moto uliazia tu pale juu na umesambaa tu kwa kazi kiasi lakini kama tungelukua na nafasi nzuri hapa hivi, tungewakoa vitu. The government has gazetted Monday, June 26th as a public holiday to celebrate Eid ul-Fitr. Eid ul-Fitr marks the end of the month of Ramadan, the month characterized by dawn to dusk fasting by Muslims, lasts 29 or 30 days depending on the lunar cycle. Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri declared next Monday a public holiday in a special gazette notice published today. Former Gatanga MP Peter Kenneth now claims Deputy President William Ruto rigged him out of the Jubilee Party primaries in favor of Senator Mike Sonko. Kenneth alleged that the DP camped at the party headquarters during the duration of the nominations from where he schemed the rigging. Kenneth, who is contesting the Nairobi gubernatorial seat as an independent candidate, was speaking when he held a town hall in Mlangokuba area of Madhari constituency. Police will now start arresting Kenyans who heckle candidates addressing political rallies. Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri on Tuesday confirmed that action will be taken against those who heckle political candidates in rallies. The directive comes amid increasing number of viral videos on social media that have captured members of public heckling presidential candidates Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga and other aspirants. That's it from us for now. For his and more stories, log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. I am Christine Mayama. Goodbye.